Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So I thought I would do a little collective haul for you guys because I haven't done one in a while. Um, so I'll just get straight into it and I'll start with makeup. Um, I needed a new brow powder because I've been using the same Rimmel dark brown um, eyebrow pencil for about two years now and um, I just wanted a change and I think it was a bit too brown compared to my uh, hair color. It was a bit um, unnatural so um, I went to Bobbi Brown at first to try their brow powder and it looked really nice. The only thing was it was really expensive. It was almost 500 Hong Kong dollars for like one little brow powder compact which came in two different shades. So I couldn't really justify the price. Then I headed to MAC and I tried theirs and it was a bit more reasonable but still uh, a bit more than I would want to pay for a brow powder. And it also applied a bit patchy um, and it didn't look as good as a Bobbi Brown one. So I thought I might as well try some drugstore ones where you could, like like Watson's, Manning's, and Sasa to see what I could get for a fraction of the price. And I ended up got, finding one at Sasa, which is the Kate um, Designing Eyebrow Kit. And I got this for 75 Hong Kong dollars, which is much cheaper than the Bobbi Brown and MAC ones. And it comes in three brown powder shades there. This one is kind of like a... Um, kind of like wedge, if you compare it to MAC's um, wedge eyeshadow, and this is like a mid-tone brown. This is the one I use on my eyebrows, and I have it on right now, and it just looks a lot more natural than um, using a pencil because the powder is um, a bit less harsh and it's easier to blend. And then it comes with a dark brown shade as well at the end, uh, and it comes with this double-ended brush. Um, I haven't really used this fluffy side yet just because it's a bit too big. Um, but I do use this side to apply the brow powder, and it works well. Uh, it also comes with a mirror, which is handy if you want to, you know, tidy up your brows on the go. So I would recommend this. The only thing is um, the powder may not be as pigmented as um, the ones you can find at high-end brands. So it just takes a bit more layering, but in the end you achieve a nice, um, nice result. So I'm liking that. Um, next I went to Makeup Forever, which... They have a freestanding store in World Trade Center, if you're here in Hong Kong. And I was looking for a dark brown eyeliner because sometimes black eyeliner can be a bit harsh, although I am wearing black right now. Um, and, it, and it happens that, so it turns out that they don't have a dark brown eyeliner in their regular line of the um, Aqua Eyes eyeliner pencils, but they do have a dark brown in their current collection, which is a limited, uh, limited edition color, and it's called Gypsy. And it's got this like limited edition um, cap design, which is very pretty. So this is the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes um, Eyeliner, which is waterproof. And um, this is the color here. It applies really smooth, smoothly, and it stays on um, without, you know, because normally I use the Rimmel Kohl Eyeliner, the black one. And Kohl's, as you know, Kohl, pa Kohl pencils are um, very soft and they go on very smooth, but... Their main purpose is those that you can smudge it out to achieve a uh, smoky eye. Um, so I always have to set that with um, a black eyeshadow on top to make sure it doesn't smudge. But with this eyeliner, you don't need to set it, and it stays on all day anyway. Um, and see, I'm kind of rubbing it, and it's not really going anywhere, so that's great. And this just applies really smoothly, and I can even achieve like a winged effect with it without um, tidying it up with a brush or anything so that's great and it well, actually wasn't as expensive I, as I expected it to be um, I got this for I think it was 160 or 180 I was expecting it to be at least 200 Hong Kong dollars um, this mascara is something that I've actually got I actually got a while ago um, back in January and this is the Majolica Majorca Lash Expander Frame Plus Mascara um, I already had two other Majolica Majorca mascaras I had the um, the Lash Gorgeous Wing one, as well as the, um, I forgot the name of the other one, but I had tried two other ones, but this is actually the one that they're, um, that's known to be their best one, and this is the fiber one, and the brush is like this, so I actually use both ends to apply, I just alternate between the curved edge and the straight edge, and, um, it holds your curl really well, I don't think you can even see my lashes, but, um, yeah, compared to like Western mascaras, this holds a curl really well, and it does lengthen. The only thing is that because it's a fiber mascara, it takes a bit longer to remove. You have to make sure that you're using water and not oil, 
and the water has to be warm and you kind of have to rub your lashes gently to get the fibers to come off. But um, yeah, this is this is quite good. And the most, the two most exciting things I've gotten recently are from Mac, and I actually got them for free because my mom went to like um, a dinner party the other night, and there was a lucky draw, and she won the uh, free Mac makeup, which is awesome because um, also for me actually because most of the time she can't be bothered to use like um, many different makeup products. She just sticks to like foundation, concealer, and a bit of eyeliner, and that's all she does. So, um, I got two things. The first one is Max Melba Blush, which I've actually been wanting for a while, which is awesome, and I'm so glad I didn't um, buy it, because now I got it for free, and this is a matte color, as you can see. And basically, this is just a um, really nice, natural, peachy pink color, and I'm wearing it for the first time tonight um, on my cheeks, and... I like that it's matte because if you have oily skin like me, then it won't make you look shinier and it also won't highlight your pores like some shimmery blushes would. And the other thing I got is a paint pot in Bare Study, which is a really popular color. It's basically this um, shimmery champagne color. And I've used it as a base today. That's the... I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, that's the color you can see there. If I put it on my hand... There you go, very shimmery, very pretty. Um, yeah, I'm using that as a base under my eyeshadow, um, and it works really well as an eyeshadow primer as well. Or you can wear it alone as a really pretty, like, shimmery wash all over your lids. Um, as for clothing, I got two pieces recently from Zara. I know it seems like uh, all my clothes come from Zara when I'm here in Hong Kong, which is pretty much true. Um, I just like really like their stuff here and uh, don't ask me why the tag is kind of cut off, it's a long story and kind of an accident. Anyway, first I got this black top which is like really slouchy and it's got those the kind of like bat wing effect, it's got very small sleeves here and I just thought this would be a really versatile uh, top to wear out at night. You can wear it alone and have your jewellery be the centerpieces. Um, because it's so plain, it'll really make the jewelry pop. Or you can even probably put a waist belt around it. Like, I think a skinny neon belt could look really cool with this. The other thing I got is a bit out of the ordinary. I don't really have anything like this. Um, and this is kind of like an Aztec print t-shirt. And it's kind of like this, um, kind of nylon-y, almost burlap kind of material that's knitted and you can see the texture there, um, and this is really nice for spring, I think. Um, just something a bit more casual and, and light-hearted. Um, and the last thing I got, which is also very exciting, is you know how neon is very in this season, especially neon yellow? So I jumped straight into that bandwagon, and I got this little satchel, neon yellow satchel bag from Steve Madden, and I think it's so cute. I like to wear it across the body, like this. Um, it just fits the string, spring trend so well and last weekend I wore this satchel with that black um, Zara top at night and it just popped really nicely and I was just wearing all black with this neon pop of colour and it's not the most spacious bag but you can fit you know, money in there, cards, your phone and your camera, all the essentials and I just think it's adorable and it wasn't too expensive, it was like 600 Hong Kong dollars which is pretty good for a bag. Um, so I'm really happy about that and they also have it in shocking pink and like a neon coral and they're all really nice. I just, I was more drawn to the yellow. So yeah, that is my kind of mini collective haul. Um, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in so long. It's probably the longest I've ever gone without filming a video. I just didn't really have um, much to talk about but I actually dyed my hair recently um, to a kind of dark chocolatey brown and I had a haircut and that's, I, maybe that's part of the reason I didn't want to film because I thought my hair was really ugly because it was too short but now it's finally starting to grow out a bit back to the long hair stage and I'm so glad um, I just always regret it whenever I get a haircut but you know it's kind of a necessity it was really my hair was really looking very um, messy and, and scraggly so you know I had already been delaying it for a very long time so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're all doing well. Um, if you have any questions on any of the products I've shown in this video, please feel free to uh, leave them in the comments below. And um, 
Oh, if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my nails, this minty green nail polish is by The Face Shop. Uh, I'm not sure about the actual shade name because they do it in codes, but you know, I think they only have one mint green nail polish. And it's a really pretty spring color. It's like um, paler than the Barry Am mint green. But the only thing is the consistency is quite thin, so I had to do three coats. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll stop rambling and leave it there. And I hope you all have a great week. Bye.